ask you afterwards anyway. Okay. Yeah, man. You do, you do. Obviously. Toby, 1209 would like to know, how easy is it to set up a Wi-Fi connection with a Lumix camera if I have a long, long password? A long password? Hmm. Um. <laughs> oh, the thing is, no. If if I'm if I'm not mistaken, because um, that's what I tried earlier, the way that it works with the S Z five is that you just go through the settings, and actually it's the camera that gives you um, a password that you have to type in in order to get connected to either your tablet PC or your smartphone. I understand the question now. So you're absolutely right. When you actually set up the Wi-Fi uh, networking on the camera itself, the S Z five. It will prompt you and give you a, a SSID location, so that means that it'll appear on your home network, your yeah. router, um, and at the same time, it will give you an encrypted password that's unique to that camera itself. So you find that, that's your password, you put it in, and then you can control remotely with your other devices or smart transfer, as we've just seen through the PC, or send it to your television as well. So it's a, ma it's a matter, I understand it's also a matter of security because it's yes. better to have a camera that knows where it's going to yes. send its picture to. So it to. sits on your network, Yeah, you allow it to sit on your network. It's the best and safest way to do it that way around. Yes. Otherwise, you don't want your Vegas, Prince Harry type of pictures like, you know, <laughs> sent all over the network. No, not at all. So therefore, uh, it's, it's rather easy, it's quite easy and we, we tried it out, but it's the other way around. It's not, uh, it's like your smartphone has to get linked to the camera and that's really easy and not the other way around. Absolutely. Uh, okay, but anyway, thank you, Toby, for this answer. 